All right, let's take a live look over the city right now. It, you can't see heat, of course, but all you have to do is step outside today and it hits you in the face. You can definitely feel it and feel it. We have for the last couple of days. Let's check in with Derek in the First Alert Weather Center, see if there's any more on the way. Well, it looks like we've got another hot day on the way tomorrow. Not as bad as it's been, but we're starting to make some progress here. Once we get past today, we're going to turn that corner and we're going to start feeling a little bit more like we should be for this time of year as early as this weekend. And then it looks like next week we have perhaps even cooler temperatures in the forecast. Let's show you the view from space this afternoon. Visible satellite showing the skies are partly cloudy, kind of a hazy out there. A very, very uh, Hazy it's late summer afternoon across the region with those temperatures again cranking up near 100 degrees across the area. We're at 96 right now. We were 99 last hour out at BWI Marshall. So uh, I just had this discussion with meteorologist Steve Sauce that we were texting back and forth and it looks like we may have hit 100 degrees. We'll get the official number, though, when the almanac comes out here about another hour or so. But I do think that we did uh, hit 100 uh, this afternoon. The heat index, though, still right around 100 degrees. So it's a little stuffy out there, and it looks like that'll be continuing here into your Thursday. As a matter of fact, they'll probably be a little bit more sticky here coming up on Thursday afternoon. Not quite as oppressive here for tomorrow, though. Uh, but it looks like we got some storm chances in the forecast. That's actually going to help us out here as we go into the next several days. Right now, temperatures into the mid to upper 90s across the entire area from Glen Burnie all the way up towards Glen Arm, Woodstock, and West Friendship, out towards Howard County and Carroll County. So everybody, even the eastern shore, mid 90s there, Easton and Stevensville, down towards Cambridge, and heat index values up to 106 now in Elkton. We're looking at uh, heat index values uh, into the upper 90s just about everywhere else. So again, as we go through tonight, this is what you can expect through 8 o'clock, 90 degrees, but then by late tonight, falling back to around 80 degrees and then 70s uh, as you uh, wake up here for tomorrow morning. This is what we have to look forward to right here. See all these showers and storms that are developing. We showed this to you yesterday. It was a little bit west of here, uh, but now we're starting to get some eastward progress. So we'll get, on, on, get in on this tomorrow with a chance for some showers and storms in the forecast. And we have a severe weather threat tomorrow, and we have another one again on Friday, pretty much in the same spot. So we're expecting a level one of five risk for some strong storms here. Some of the storms could produce some gusty winds, so we'll be watching for that potential for tomorrow afternoon, along with the potential for more heat and humidity across the area. So there's the storms that are going to flare up tomorrow afternoon. Notice it's not going to be anything widespread, but there will be a few around that should offer some relief from the heat, kind of take the edge off a little bit. And then we'll start the morning off Friday dry, and then more scattered storms will develop here during the afternoon. But look how the temperatures go down over the next several days. We may have a couple of days next week where high temperatures will be in the 70s. That'll certainly really feel really nice here across our region by the end of next week. So here's your first alert, seven-day forecast. 96 tomorrow, 91 coming up on Friday. Storm chances tomorrow, Friday, and of the weekend. Looks like every day from tomorrow all the way through next week has a chance for rain in it. We desperately need to make up for the rainfall deficit, so hopefully we'll get some. Back over to you guys.